hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a diy video on how to make this african inspired necklace or choker or whatever you want to call it so i'm going to list where i got all the materials i used down below so i'm using half inch copper tubing um some nylon rope pliers masking tape and fabric some lobster clasps Ribbon ends, um, jump rings. Remember, check down below for where a list of where I got all these materials and my sewing machine. And you're also gonna need a pair of scissors. So now we're just measuring out the length of the necklace. And mine is 15.5. Make sure don't make it too tight. Leave some allowance so it's not too tight. And now I'm gonna measure out the rope and cut out the 15.5 that I just measured so I'm going to use some tape to seal the ends of the rope so it doesn't fray and do the same thing to the other side as well so this is going to form the base for our necklace next you're going to cut out the fabric and measure one and a half to two inches and cut out the length of the fabric according to the length of your nylon rope. Also leave half inch allowance at the end. So now we're going to fold the fabric in half and if you're using Ankara you know that most of the time the back side is usually the fainter side of the fabric and the front side is usually brighter and more vibrant. So you want to fold the fabric in such a way that the outer side is the fainter side and the inner part of the fold is the more vibrant side. We'll flip it inside out later on. So now I'm just going over the fabric with my sewing machine. When you're sewing it, make sure to leave half an inch allowance at the end. And if this is the first time you're making this, please make sure you actually measure and mark all your measurements on the fabric. I do this a lot so I'm already used to eyeballing all my measurements. So now we're going to flip the fabric so the... Um, Fainter side is now on the inside, that's the back is now on the inside. So normally there's a tool called a um, loop turner that you're supposed to use but I couldn't find mine so I'm just using a crochet latch hook. So I'm using the hook to, um, I'm using the hook to turn the fabric inside out so you just use the end of the hook to hold onto the fabric and you pull it out until the inside becomes the outside. So now the more vibrant side, which is usually the front side of most Ankara fabrics, is going to be on the outside. I know it's kind of confusing, but I, if you don't get what I mean, just ask me questions down below and I'll answer. So now we're going to put our nylon rope into the fabric. So you just keep pushing it in and twisting it so you can't um, push it in any longer. Then you use the crochet latch hook to pull it through. So as you can see, I'm just pulling it through with the latch hook. Next, we're going to sew those parts closed. That's why I asked you to leave half inch allowance earlier when you were cutting the fabric. And just tie the ropes and cut out any extra thread to make it neater and nicer. So as you can see, our necklace is coming along. Now we're going to put the copper tubing on the um, piece that we just made. And I usually use two pieces. So yeah, these are the two. Now I'm using the ribbon ends to um, fold the ends of the pieces that we just made. So you fold the end of one piece and put the ribbon end and use pliers to close it. Like I said earlier on, if you have any questions, please leave it down below and I'll answer them. Um, yeah, make sure it's really, really secure because you don't want your necklace or your choker, whatever you want to call it, falling out and just falling on the face. Anyways, you do it to the four ends of the two pieces. 
So next we're going to add the clasps and end bars. And this is what it looks like. This is what one side looks like. I'm only going to be using the two circles at the ends. I'm not going to use the middle circle. And the other one has a chain attachment to it. So as you can see, I've attached jump rings to the ends of the um, ribbon ends. And I'm going to be attaching that to the clasp. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Just use the jump rings to attach them to the clasp. And I'm doing it on the other side as well. So as you can see, I didn't use the middle circle. I only attached it to the end circles. And this is what the two ends should look like. And your necklace is done. Pretty easy, I hope. If you have questions, like I said, just ask me down below. This is what it's supposed to look like at the end of the day. So yeah, this is the finished look. This is the finished necklace. Um, I'm going to start selling these very soon. I actually also made the top myself. So in a couple of months, I'm going to start selling like Ankara fabric designs and um, jewelry. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and please share this video. Bye! Check my Instagram if you want to see more pictures.